Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you the student perspective of Google Classroom. I was recently asked about this by a few people, and so I thought it'd be nice to make a video about it. So here I am in my teacher view of my demo class, and if I want to go to classwork, let's give my students a new assignment. So let's go in and do a new assignment for them, and we'll say, you know, write a short report about railroads. Now, in this case, I could go in and add a document as a template, but for this, I'm just gonna give my students a little instruction and say, you know, write a short report, And over here, let's go ahead and put our point value up there, assign a due date. Let's say it's going to be due tomorrow at 11.59 p.m. We'll leave it as that. Now again, I can put it into a topic if I need to. If you want to create a rubric and attach a rubric, you can. And I have a video about how to do that on my YouTube channel. I'll link that up in the description. But let's just go and assign this. All right, so now I've posted that assignment. Let's take a look at the student side of this. So here's my student's view of the Google Classroom, my demo class. And we'll see there is a new assignment posted, write a, re a short report about railroads. Now, the student sees it this way. They see it's worth 100 points. They can ask me a question about it. Maybe they say, is there a rubric? So they can do that in their private comments there. They could also ask that publicly. Now let's go in as a student here and they'll see the option to add or create. And they wanna create a new Google document. And so this will load for them a brand new Google document that they can write in. So there it is. Now they go here and Mason Byrne write a short report about railroads. Now they can obviously change the title of that if they want to. So let's say railroads played an integral part in the expansion of the United States. They're also the reason we have time zones. So, student writes out his or her report. Now they're ready to turn it in. They'll see here it's going to be submitted. Let's go ahead and turn that in. Now let's go back to the teacher side of this. And as a teacher, when I refresh this, I can then click on, write a short report. Let's view the assignment. I can see there's Mason's assignment. Let's click on it. And let's go in and give it a grade. We'll say say no rubric for this one. It's a free write practice. Whatever you want to call it. Whatever comment you want, you can put in there. Now, as a teacher, you might go in and highlight that and add in a little comment. Now you can see I have a comment bank. I'm gonna to add to my bank. And we'll insert that comment. We'll copy that. And there it is. Now you can also just write comments by simply highlighting 
and using the regular commenting tool as well. Now, I'm going to return this to my student. You'll see over here on the right-hand side, I'm going to return this submission. And now we'll go look at the student perspective of this returned assignment. So the student now looking at his login for the demo class and in the stream, you go over here to classwork, you can say view your work, you can see here, write a short report about railroads, they can see their grade, but they can also see the comments. So those little notes that I wrote back and forth, and now to see the actual comment, they can open up the document and see the comments that I've written in there. Now, if the student wants to take a look and see if there's anything else they have to do, they can go in there. They can see everything that's been returned with a grade and anything that's missing from there list of assignments as well. So I hope that gives you a better sense of what the student sees when they're assigned something in Google Classroom and when you return an assignment to them as well. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to send me an email. And for more tips and tutorials like this, please check out practicaledtech.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.